फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैनल आई एम आशीष एंड दिस वीडियो आई विल टीच यू अबाउट द इनगोनल लिगामेंट इनगोनल लिगामेंट इज अ कॉमन यूज टर्म्स इन द एब्डोमिन पार्ट सो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द इनगोनल लिगामेंट इन डिटेल टुडे सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो सो व्हाट इज इनगोनल लिगामेंट इट्स नथिंग बट अ जस्ट अ थिक फाइब्रस बैंड एक्सटेंडिंग फ्रॉम द एंटीरियर सुपीरियर इलेक्स स्पाइन ऑफ द हिप बोन टू द पिबिक ट्यूबिकल सो इट इज अ बैंड व्हिच एक्सटेंड बिटवीन द टू पोर्शंस ऑफ द टू प्रोमिनेंस फर्स्ट वन इज द एसआईएस एंड सेकंड वन इज द pubic tubercle okay so and it is formed by the lower free border of the external oblique epineurosis so what is this external oblique muscle so what is this external oblique epineurosis so it is nothing but the ending portion of the or modified tendon of the external oblique external oblique is one of the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall i have couple of diagram in 3d illustration to help you better imagine the inguinal ligament attachments and about the external oblique epineurosis so let's go on the more on the 3d and check on the attachments of the inguinal ligament so this is a 3d model of the human skeleton if you focus on the pelvic region you can see a band of ligament or band of fibrous tissue which is attached to the asis which is part of the hip bone so you can see over there here the anterior superior iliac spine which is a part of the ilium bone and it is attached inferior to the pubic tubercle that's present on the pubis bone so this is the inguinal ligament extent so it it is clearly visible the extent of the inguinal ligament below the inguinal ligament you can see a space which is called the subinguinal space which we will discuss in detail in the next video so do watch it because below the space many important structure pass now let's i, I have told you let's we'll talk about the external oblique epineurosis so this is actually the external oblique muscle whose epineurosis forms the inguinal ligament you can see it covers the whole of the abdomen from anterior to the posterior so you can see it extend how it extend anteriorly as well as posteriorly it extend in the superior as well as the inferior layers okay so this is the external oblique muscle whose lower boundary or the lower epineurosis forms the inguinal ligament so this is the external oblique epineurosis and external oblique muscle now let's check on the insertion and origin of the external oblique muscle so external origin external oblique muscle originate from the anterolateral border of the lower eight ribs so it has one origin but it has actually three insertion first insertion is on the anterior anterior rectus sheath second on the iliac crest and third on the pubic crest so these are all, all about the origin insertion in the 3d model and the diagram you saw the external oblique muscle so this is a sagittal section of the external oblique so this, suppose this was external oblique coming from the front okay anterior abdominal wall so it made a sagittal section so it will appear something like this so this is the muscle band fleshy part and this is the aponeurosis you can see the aponeurosis is form a curved portion and when it extends down it curves around to form the inguinal ligament so external oblique muscle must be coming from the front and it has curved around to form the inguinal ligament and you can see it has two surfaces an upper surface and a lower surface the diagram the upper surface is concave and lower surface is round the or you can say the lower surface is convex inferiorly so to the inferior portion a ligament is attached or a fascia is attached is called the fascia lata so fascial lata is attached to the lower aspect over here of the inguinal ligament which make it convex inferiorly by its pull so it's pulling the which more epineurosis the external oblique epineurosis which makes it convex inferiorly okay so fascial lata is attached to the lower aspect of the entire length so you just have a see of the diagram so you can have a better imagine it so this is what the, the watch point is this is asis anterior superior iliac spine this is the pubic tubercle and the one ligament extends from the asis to the pubic tubercle and is formed by the folding of the epineurosis of the external oblique now we have to see about the extensions of the ligament so the ligament modifies itself and forms a number of extension the four major are the lacunar ligament pectineal ligament reflected part of the inguinal ligament and the ilio inguinal ligament lacunar ligament is very important because it forms a medial border of the femoral canal femoral canal video i'll be covering soon so just stay tuned by just click on the subscribe button below and do press the notification bell below 
so lacrimal ligament retain ligament reflected part of inguinal ligament and ilio inguinal ligament are the extension of the inguinal ligament so let's see that about the attachments of the lacrimal ligament lacrimal ligament arises from the medial end of the deep fibers okay so it arises from the medial end from the deep fibers of the inguinal ligament and curves backwards to the medial part of the pectin pubis so this is the pectin pubis and it arises from the deep fibers of the inguinal ligament and what about the reflected part of inguinal ligament it arises from the superior fibers of the medial end of the inguinal ligament you can see so from the in the medial end from the superficial fibers arises the reflected part of inguinal ligament and from the deep fibers arises the lacrimal ligament which is attached to the or which is makes attachment to the which part that is the pectin pubis now let's see about the pectineal ligament so this is the pectineal ligament it extends from the posterior part of the lacrimal ligament so it's you can see it extends from the posterior part of the lacrimal ligament and run along the pectin pubis to the iliopubic eminence so here you can see an eminence over here this is nothing but the iliopubic so this is the iliopectineal eminence so it extends from the posterior part of the lacrimal ligament along the along the pectin pubis to the iliopectineal eminence now the last remaining part is the iliopectineal ligament it arises from the inferior aspect of the inguinal ligament to the iliopectineal eminence so this is the iliopectineal eminence it arises from the inferior aspect of the inguinal ligament or must watch another video on the continuation of the inguinal ligament that's the subinguinal space some subinguinal space is the space present below the inguinal ligament many important structure passes from the abdomen through the subinguinal space into the lower limb so this is also very important clinically so do watch the video on the subinguinal space in the beginning i told you i will tell you about the mid inguinal point and the mid point of the inguinal ligament so first of all let me tell you about the mid point of inguinal ligament mid point of inguinal ligament is nothing but the mid point of the actual mid point of the inguinal ligament which extend between the a size to the pubic tubercle okay so this is called the the center point is called the mid point of inguinal ligament now we have one more term mid inguinal point so if you draw an imagine line from the a size to the pubic symphysis the center of it it's called the mid inguinal point so the i hope the mid inguinal point and the mid point of inguinal ligament is very clear to you if you like the video please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel thanks for watching